So here in Critter, I just want to show a couple of quick tips when working with the brush tool and also painting within Critter. So the first thing is we're just going to come up to the, the brush tool at the top left. And you can see that when you select the brush tool, you have this option on the right for either no smoothing or basic smoothing all the way up to stabilizer smoothing. So this will mean that if we just turn this off, if you see this when we're drawing a line, you get some of these wonky lines in there. But if we come to basic smoothing, then you'll get a little bit of a smoother line. You may not notice too, too much difference, but if we come to stabilizer, then we get some more options here. So we get sample count and delay. So if we draw this now, you can see I get a much smoother line. And if you increase the delay and increase the sample count, then you're going to get a kind of smoother line, but it's going to follow the brush afterwards. So it's nice if you want to do those kind of curved shapes. If we do select all, so Command or Control and A, and then delete, we can delete everything. If we do Shift, Command and A, that will deselect everything. The other useful tool here as well is that when we're drawing within one of these, I'm just going to turn the delay down here. And then basically, it's easy to kind of draw these straight lines at certain angles, but harder than at different angles to kind of draw the lines. I'm drawing with a mouse. So basically here, when we're drawing those lines, we may find it tricky. And I know in some of the earlier, we may find it tricky to kind of get exactly what we want. One really cool tool within Critter is if we do shift and spacebar, then we can rotate the canvas. So this means that those lines where it was hard to kind of draw an angle, we can actually put the canvas at the angle we want. So now we can draw any line that we want. Let's just delete all this. So here it's much easier for me to do shift and spacebar, rotate it, and then to draw a horizontal line that I then will rotate to. So here I'm going to draw a simple cube. And I want to draw the line down here, but I want, don't want to drag down. I'm going to actually rotate my canvas and move it up a bit until the line from there to there is nice and straight. So here we can really control how we're drawing. So this is going to be useful as you draw and paint some of those projects within Critter. The other nice thing as well is if you turn the opacity down, then we can draw a bit more of a sketchy way so the, the lines will kind of build up as we're drawing so and we can jump between the brush and the eraser as well as we're drawing different things within Critter. so these are useful tools to sketch with as you're working with and we can use also the square brackets you can see my brush size up at the top right here is increasing and decreasing so i can go all the way down to one pixel nice fine line and i can use that in my sketch I can increase that up to seven pixels. We'll go all the way up to eight, nine, and then create some kind of bigger lines at the edge here. And we can also then rotate that as we're working on different parts of our drawing. So you can see we're just drawing a simple cube here. We can jump also to the eraser, which we can use to erase different parts of our image, increase the opacity there. And you can see now I kind of get this nice sketchy look as I'm rotating and erasing. So as you're experimenting with the brush tools in different projects, then using the rotation and everything will help you uh, with those projects to kind of get what you're, you're looking for with the brush tool. So I hope this is helpful. Um, if we come down to the bottom here, you can see I can also control my rotation here too the rotation of my canvas, and I can reset it to zero there as well. Or if I am rotated, I can come to the view menu and come to zoom, rotate and mirror, and I can reset the canvas rotation there. So I hope that's useful. If you do have any questions, then please do get in touch.